yo what it do all right get this donk working on this donk again today uh i don't know if this is the last day or not but oh we, we got the wire in everything get ready to start uh hooking some stuff up getting some power ran through uh we got the console is completely wired up that console came out pretty damn good good color match um all these loose wires right here not my doing so my mentality is if it ain't broke don't fix it so i ain't messing with that only thing i'm messing with is the car stereo stuff that's why i don't like wiring people's systems up because um it's one of my pet peeves because you always find something you end up having to do extra but I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to tuck them a little better. Look at that. It's all on a pedal. All of that, man. But the only thing I got left to do on this is uh, just hook up the, the constant 12 volt, which will be on the fuse box up there. And uh, I just seen to hook that up because he didn't have a fuse in there. So I had to get some fuses. But console's looking good sitting there. Looks like it's supposed to be there color matching pretty good uh, right here the back deck as you can see four eights two super tweeters looking real good um, with the mesh grill it's not mesh grill it's just like a uh, some kind of material I don't know it's not metal though it's like some kind of uh, cloth or something looks just like metal though serves the same purpose and then you see back here is the wire. So we got them. We got everything ran. We just ain't hooked everything up. So about to put some grounds up. Like I say, get ready to put the fuse on that. Zip tie some stuff. And hopefully uh, next will be the customer pickup. So stay tuned. All right. I know that's the boring part, but. I know I said I had all the wires ran. I did. I do have all the wires ran. I just kind of neaten them up a little bit. Got the battery hooked up. Got the fuse holder waiting. And got some little stinger action going. I don't know why I'm plugging stinger and kinetic. But they didn't send me nothing for free. So, But we're using their product. Not the best wiring job in the world. But, you know, it's nice and neat. You're not going to see none of that in the corner. No way. So. It is. I got this loosey goosey because this is the base, the base knob. Um, I don't know why it's so small. I don't like that. I like the phone jack style. So plus, as you can see, it's not a whole lot to play with. It looks like a lot, but once I trail it through the amp rack, which will be about right here, it's not much to play with. So I'm leaving the loosey goosey just in case we can't. It's too short. So, anyway, I right, cut y'all back on after I pick this heavy ass box up. My helper is gone today, so pick this heavy ass box up and put it in. I snap it back on. All right, y'all. Uh, then get it done today. Uh, spent way too much time trying to get it crunk. Uh, that battery under the hood is just gone. Uh, just got it lit up. Just trying to, you know see what's going you know just testing it out basically you see the mayhem right there this is taking y'all behind the scenes this is the ugly truth about car stereo is the wiring i gotta hide and tuck all of that wire hmm. as if i didn't wasn't doing that enough through the rest of the car but yeah i just got the uh i didn't want to uh connect it to the the back the battery uh, it's still not connected, so I didn't want to uh, hook that up and just kill that one, you know, because one bad battery would kill the rest of them. So I just uh, just left that unhooked and just left it alone, man. My daggone, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it's cold out here. Shit. My daggone uh, charger failed on me today. My jump box failed on me today. I got to take that back. Cause I, I ain't too long had that, but that charger, you know, it's way past this prime. But yeah, so signing out. 
Maybe next week. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Before we fire up this monster. Peace.